What's going on security ninjas, Samuel here, and I like to hack things. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick way to encode PowerShell, not via the command line. Whether you're an offensive security professional, security analyst, sysadmin, or even developer, you may have a need to encode PowerShell to complete a task or set up a reverse shell in order for it to bypass detections. So with this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to encode PowerShell and get it working. So what we're going to do is we're going to encode a PowerShell reverse shell in base64. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and just type in PowerShell one-liner reverse shell on your favorite search engine and select the payloads all the things repository. Uh, this will give you several re reverse shells. So go ahead and scroll down to PowerShell so we can see the ones that are available. And I'm going to go ahead and select this one with the dollar sign client, so the client variable. And then we're going to open a new tab and we're gonna look for CyberChef. Uh, make sure to select the github.io link from GCHQ. Next, you'll paste your command into the input area. Um, go ahead and remove the PowerShell no-op and taxi, and of course the quotes around the entire payload. Uh, then you're going to want to change the IP address to the one that you have a, a listener on and, of course, the port. Now go ahead and search for encode text. So we need to encode the text into 16LE in order for the payload to work once it's encoded. I know this is weird. It's just that's just how it is. So go ahead and select the 2Base64 recipe. And there we go, we have our encoded command. So just to verify that it works, let's go ahead and copy it. It will move over to our virtual machines. But first we'll need to make sure we set up our listener. So I have on the right side, a Netcat listener on a Kali host. And then on the left side is a standard Windows 10, Defender disabled, of course. And we're gonna type in PowerShell.exe, tech ENC for encoded command. We're gonna hit enter. We may see a little bit of an error, but that's okay because as you can see on the right side, we have a new connection come through. And I do a who am I, and what do you know? Just like the user on the left side, I am also that user. So there we go, we have the successful reverse shell via encoded PowerShell command. And that's how you encode PowerShell. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope this quick tip on how to encode PowerShell helps you with your tasks that you need to accomplish. And if you're curious about how to decode PowerShell so you can look at potentially malicious PowerShell, check out my video for that. All right, thank you.